An Illinois mom let her eight-year-old daughter walk their dog alone, and the neighbors called the cops and child services. Authorities closed their investigation, but the mother thinks the reaction was totally overkill. So we sent Steve out to find out how the people yes. of New York feel. That's right, the people here at the All-American Summer Concert Series. All right, so this is the audience participation portion of today's festivities. <laughs> now, okay. So this mom sends the eight-year-old out in the front yard to walk the dog because the kid said, okay, mom, if we get a dog, I'll take care of the dog. The cops were called. There was a two-week investigation, and it was determined that uh, she wasn't neglecting uh, her children. It was She wasn't putting in, in peril. Who thinks the neighbor was right to call the cops? Let me see the hand of somebody who thinks it was right to call the cops. Okay. <laughs> What does an eight-year-old child look like? How old are you? Eight. Perfect! <laughs> All right, Samantha. Yes. Oh, uh, what's your daughter's name? Laura. Laura and Laura, very nice artwork. We love that. <laughs> That's terrific. Would you trust uh, your daughter, Laura, to go out in the front yard and walk the dog? Absolutely. Not without me, I'm older. Oh, not without her. You gotta go too, right? Yes. Um, so yeah. you would have no problem. Yeah. Because the mom said, I can see her through the front window. You got no problem with that. No problem. Have to teach them personal responsibility. Okay. Is this the right answer? Yeah. Very good. I love that. Thank you very much. What's your name? Ray. Ray, uh, do you have children? Yes, three. Okay. Somehow they made it to this age. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you trust them at age eight to just go out in the yard by themselves and walk the dog? I wouldn't see why not. Yeah, but there are a lot of scary things in the world. Yeah, we have to show them independence and, you know, go out there and do what they have to do. Mm -hmm. And what, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, at what age do you feel like you were okay to be in the yard alone without supervision? <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> when you were in grade school? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Who else would like to weigh in on this uh, big... Okay, this guy right Absolutely, here. yes. We're from Milwaukee, our 36th wedding anniversary. There you go. In the air. Congratulations. By the way, you look very young. You look just like your son. You could, you could be his twin. Oh, I could. Okay. <laughs> My son is 6'6". Six, six. He's tall. <laughs> he is tall. Okay, so what do you think of this? No, I, I agree with that. I think that if you teach your children to be responsible, to be looking for what needs to be you know, kept safe, they'll be fine. But what about the fact that the neighbor dropped a dime on him and said, hey, there could be trouble there because she's letting her daughter roam around outside without supervision? Well, if the neighbor is aware of some issues in the neighborhood, then maybe that isn't a bad thing. Right. But at least that the kids should also be aware of what the warning signs are of where trouble might be there. Okay, very good. And this is your bride of 30 Yes, there she is. Do you want to stand next to each other? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right. Okay, so uh, Brian and uh, Rachel, it looks like this crowd is 100% on the page of an eight-year-old kid can be in the front yard if the mom can see him through the front yard, uh, right. through the front window. And mm -hmm. Steve, let's be honest. Normally, you go out and you have to find people, and they're yes. in a rush. Yes. How great is it to do it on a Friday concert series day where they all come to you? <laughs>